Hey there Star Wars fans and welcome back to another action figure review. We're jumping into the vintage collection this time. Just did a Black Series review on Bodhi Rook so I decided to take a little break between the Black Series figures and just sort of mix it up a little bit and uh, thought I'd take a look at the Mithril. Thanks to Bulletproof Villain, the first people in Australia. Thanks to Bulletproof Villain they seem to be the first folks in Australia to get a hold of a couple of these new figures from the new wave which is awesome so yeah you got these nice and quick which is cool i've been hanging out for these i'm um, still waiting on lobot bib fortuna and bo katan but this one is to the mithril he is vc225 for those playing at home and uh yeah really digging this figure it looks fantastic S some cool accessories and uh yeah again another figure fulfilling that promise that hasbro made when they said if the razor crest gets backed we will fill it with characters that um you know, we'll put out as many characters as we can in the vintage collection that, uh, you know, were involved with the Razor Crest on scene in, in the series. So, Mithra obviously being one of them for the very first episode. So, um, but yeah, the image here is taken from his appearance in season two, episode The Siege. Really great episode. And uh, yeah, it was cool to see him again. So, let's open this one up and take a look. All right, here he is. This is a great looking figure. I'm really stoked with this one. He's come out fantastically. Uh, yeah, yeah, he looks great. Loving the sort of, that sort of metallic sort of paint they've used on his head just to sort of show that sort of, um, where's the card? Sort of almost like a, I don't know, semi-translucency to his skin, I guess. Would have been okay if it was just matte. Um, but yeah, it's it's a cool look for the figure. I'm really liking it. I think he looks good. We'll get a close-up look at the head sculpt here. They've done that really well. I think he looks fantastic. I love the sort of gills on the back of his head. Sort of fins, I guess. So it sounds like it comes from like a... Uh, water planet I suppose or something rich in moisture given that he's sort of yeah very very fish like I guess um, there was another one of these species very briefly in the Rise of Skywalker just on the uh, base there at the end of the movie um, who was actually played by the actor that plays uh, Murray Goldberg in the Goldbergs so that was cool <laughs> um, but yeah it was nice to sort of see this guy sort of fleshed out and See a little bit more of him. So let's take a look at the accessories. He does come with this little blaster pistol, which is pretty much the same as what the uh, TIE pilots get. So yeah, we're gonna put that one in his hand. He does have a trigger finger there, which is cool. So that's nice. Does have a set of cuffs. I can't remember what they're called in the <laughs> what they're called in the Star Wars universe. Handcuffs, basically. You had to put them behind his back and you could have Mando, you know, leading him on onto the onto the Razor Crest. So that's a nice little accessory add-on. Not sure if this is a new sculpt or whether it's been used before, but it's cool nonetheless. It does come with his little little torch. So again Another cool little accessory. Don't really need to add these in, but they have, and uh, yeah, I think fans of 3.75 inch stuff are very grateful for, you know, the attention to detail some of these new vintage collection figures are getting. It feels like we're on the right track with the vintage collection. It hasn't, hasn't been all it could be in the last few years, but it's, uh, I feel like they're on the right track. So time will tell. The other cool accessory is actually the bounty puck that Mando drops on the table in front of him. So that is that is fantastic, and that is superbly detailed for such a small piece. You know, it's as big as my thumbnail there, which is you know that's crazy. It's just so well detailed. You can almost see, like, see the hologram sort of lines, the flickers in it. And the writing that's been painted in red, pink, and the little puck itself, which is awesome. I love that so much. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Awesome little accessory there. I think that's 
that's exactly what we're striving for in the vintage collection. So I absolutely applaud Hasbro for that. That is fantastic. Absolutely brilliant work. So we'll take a look at his outfit. He's in sort of brown boots. He's wearing pretty much just a sort of brown jumpsuit, which is nothing special, but it's uh, it's what he's wearing. The nice sort of details on the pouches, the buckles, nice little sort of bronze touches there on the buckles. Sort of lighter brown on the sort of fur at the cuffs and the collar of the jacket, which is nice. Yeah, really nicely sculpted figure. Great articulation all around. You know, let's go fit in perfectly with the Razor Crest when, when that hits. Hopefully very, very soon. Within months. So that is Mithro. I don't know, which is apparently more so his species, but um, I'd love to get a name for him. He's just been called uh, the, Myth the Mithro. And on the card back, yeah, it just says the Mithril. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, I'd lo love to hear him get a name. I think that would be cool. So we could uh, call him by his name, which is only fair. So uh, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please drop them in the dis in the comments. I was about to say description. You can't write in there. That's silly. In the comments section. And uh, yeah, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the review. Please subscribe if you're new. I'm always dropping new reviews for new action figures. I love to sort of share my thoughts and uh, take a close look at them and just have a bit of fun with the toys. So thank you for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Till the next one, may the force be with you always.